<laughs> it's so good to finally see you here. Well, I'm so happy to be in Boston and on the Emerson campus after two weeks of being remote and virtual. And despite Omicron and blown fuses and snowstorms, we all made it. Nothing can hold us back. <laughs> Even Henry, who's joining us remotely um, because of his um, illy timed uh, um, oh, outbreak. I know. Henry's um, been with us every step of the way since the beginning and throughout this week. And I just have to say, and I have to thank you for providing me with this incredible opportunity. After 13 years away from the classroom, you've brought me back. Mm -hmm. And you've also spoiled me with this incredibly fabulous group of students. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I like to think of it as like the movie Field of Dreams. Um, we built it, and boy, did they come. They showed up. They brought their ideas. They helped each other create them. And it was really such an experience. I mean, I wish we could bottle it somehow yeah. and, and share it with everyone, but I think that's what's gonna happen today when you're presenting your ideas. It's beautiful to have been part of this. We have laughed, we have cried, mm -hmm. we have helped each other. It is really, I, I mean, I could never have expected this when we first thought about the idea. And we've only assembled, we've only been assembled for three weeks. 10 days. Yeah. Um, so before we kick it off, we have lots of people to thank, and I will do it as quickly as I can so we can get to the presentations. First, to former provost Michelle Whalen, who saw what happens when Tim and I get together, <laughs> um, and she said, we need to get you together to teach a class. Um, to um, Dean of the School of Communications, Raul Rice, and Chair of the Marketing Communication Department, Brent Smith, for supporting this crazy idea of doing a four credit class in 10 days over winter break um, and everything that means. Um, Jan, Leslie, Eric, Murasep, who went above and beyond to get our students back to campus safely tested so we can actually do this and meet in person. Um, to our amazing guest speakers, some of them you'll meet today um, as judges who have shared their experiences and mentored our students and have extended themselves even after this class to help out if these ideas actually will come to fruition, and we really hope they do. Some of them certainly will. Um, to Paul Pegger, our fearless operations manager, who, despite everything, stayed up late nights to put together our presentations and made this all happen. Thank you, Paul. And the whole team, Eric, Alicia, Sarah, the Emerson Office of the Arts, Emerson Productions, Dan, who's been with us since the very beginning, we appreciate you so much. Um, and to my dear partner, uh, Tim, your love, your wisdom, your mentorship, the students have enjoyed having you so much, and I have enjoyed having you so much. Well, and I've learned so much from you, so much from our guest speakers, and so much from these incredible students. Absolutely. So um, and so, without further ado, I am going to kick this off. First, I'm going to introduce the judges that we're going to have for our first mm. tranche, which is communication and community. Um, our judges, we have uh, Andy Minkstein from Lamplighter Ventures. Andy and I worked together on multiple um, ideas. Some came to fruition, some did not. Um, he is what I call a unicorn, both an entrepreneur and a developer, an ace developer. So thank you, Andy, for joining yes. us. Um, we have Eric Schwartz. Hi, Eric. Hello, Eric. <laughs> Eric is the co-founder and CEO of College for Social Innovation, which incorporated in July of 2015. He's also the co-founder and former CEO of Citizen Schools, a successful social enterprise that has scaled to a $30 million annual budget with an extensive impact on after-school and extended learning time fields across the U.S. We have Sabrina Horn. Hi, Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina. Who is a, an award-winning CEO, author, tech communications expert, and advisor board member. Her career is highlighted by her 25 years as founder, CEO, and president of the Horn Group, the icon iconic U.S. tech communications agency she founded in Silicon Valley at age 29 and sold to Finn Partners in 2015. Hi, Sabrina. And um, finally, 
we have Brent Smith, our very own Brent Smith, who is a professor and chair of Marketing Communications Department. He is an accomplished teacher scholar, consultant, and practitioner with multifaceted expertise in strategy, analytics, ethics, and global business. He has developed over 20 courses for students in undergraduate, graduate international online programs, and has been a huge backer of this whole class. So thank you, Brent, for that, and thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you very much, Brent. Um, so as we kick off the first tranche, um, I want to give a special thank you to the students. I don't know if you understand how much you have taught us and given us hope for the future with your ideas and energy. We know our future is in good hands. So thank you. And to kick off our first tranche, we have Leah de who will present Agitate. 